So they, are you okay or you want me to wait until they all go out? Okay. Sam is away today. He is at the physio. He went for, he goes to physio twice a week. He tried to get down to once a week because he hates it. <laughs> so they said no at least two times a week. He went a couple of days ago and literally there was no parking at all. So they said come in the morning today and they'll be parking because the guy can't walk far and there's no parking at all in the parking lot like he would have probably had to walk at least a mile to get from where he could park on the road to where he needed to be so that was not gonna work but anyway welcome to today I have a friend stopping by so that means I am gonna clean up this mess so she doesn't come in and say wow you're slobs and all, by mess all I just mean is like Sam brings hay in here and then doesn't sweep it. But anyways, get ready for a crazy weekend, you guys. We have so many videos to come out. So, so, so many videos. Somebody's been asking for a Timu video. I'm making that today. I'm shooting it today. Super excited about it. All the things that Sam's bought for, from Timu, especially equestrian stuff, but other stuff as well, or goat stuff or animal stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys it. I'm gonna show you if we like it or if it's, bad and how much it is so that you guys know if it's worth it we love timu we actually love timu like even like gabby i gave her money for christmas she spent a lot of it at timu because she loves it so much anyway my friends almost here i have a lot to do let's get started that's as good as this room's gonna get I mean it's <laughs> not clean by any means but at least it's swept also sweeping is one of the things that nobody else does in this house but me so you guys know I've been struggling with what to give the goats well not really struggling but I'm not impressed with my alfalfa pellets and then I realized that I have all these alfalfa cubes So I'm thinking maybe I'll try the goats with those and see if they like them. So I'm going to save these ones. These are like the more expensive ones that you don't have to soak. Whoa. Which they will probably like better. Actually, why do I have all these drugs over here? I'll, oh, I guess this is my supplements. You know what? I should clean up my supplement cupboard. I should label it all and make it fancy. Anyway, I'm going to take this down. And then I'm going to... You so know what Storm's really good at? What's Storm really good at? Showmanship. He is really good at showmanship. Because right? he's fancy. Yeah. And he sets up pretty good and he stands there. So that's what you want to do? Well, I'm doing that with Storm. Tell them what you really want to do this summer. Jump. No, yeah, she wants to jump. But what else do you want to do? The trail classes, and that's something I want to do, and so Penny would be okay. so good at. Only the one at this certain place, because it was, like, really cool. Yeah, really cool, but you have to start small and go to local ones. I'm, we're going to do it. They have show.
if you feel like that was a lot, all just the sweeping up of all the extra hay. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I have to clean Penny's area. And that is all of our baler twine. Sophie just told me she could crochet that. So this is it with all the hay picked up. Everything cleaned up a little bit. So much better. Sophie has a mess there. She's coming back to clean. <sighs> I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna go let the goats out. And then we're gonna come back and finish this. Because, and this one, we have two left to clean. Because it is a lot of work, holy moly. He's gonna clean that when he gets back. Yeah, Dad said he's gonna clean it. So I cleaned half, and I cleaned the barn, so. I cleaned all my stuff. I'll have to go the trick Molly learned. All right, let's see the trick Molly learned. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Ready? Uh, wait, if you put your back to me, I can't see. Get it. Oh. She really catches that. <laughs> Ellie's like, oh, I want to catch it. Uh oh, Molly, be nice to that dog. Well, the ground is officially hard. See, Grace is like ankle dog. breaking, breaking hard. Hi. How about? Oh yeah, this stuff has to be soaked. You can't have this stuff. You can't have it. Take Laura. That has to be soaked. <laughs> Grace is like, I'll try a piece. Oh, Penny, stop. just a little piece. She's like, and that's it. All right, let's go. Hurry up before we get mobbed. I feel it happening. Uh-oh, yeah, she didn't like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall and slide down the hill too. You have a bag holding you back. No, I have a bag pulling me down. Well, at least I know who's alive every time. I don't even have to check, I just have to listen. I hear the duck and the goose and the baby from a mile away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Storm beet pulp with his grain and I'm gonna give him that hay that doesn't have to be soaked. It's amazing how you're always changing everything. Like every season there's changes to be made. The animals are like, shut up! <laughs> my food. I have three buckets of grain to last me till Christmas, till after Christmas, and it will. Normally I go through one of these in about three weeks, one bucket, so I should be good. Even the snowball worked. Yes ish for dinner tonight i'm going to try and give them a little bit of soaked alfalfa and see what happens i don't want to put too much water in i just want it to like plump up i don't want it to to be like a soupy mess i just want it to soak and the water is warm you guys it's freaking spring all right so that is for them and I'm going to take the beet pulp up for the horses. Look how giant Leo is. He's pretty cute. So whenever it's yucky outside, Ellie, go. Or whenever we're down here and we're just sitting here. <laughs> Ooh. Leo and Lucy are absolutely adorable. I'm still so thankful for them. Yesterday I told you guys that I wanted to get another puppy. I should have clarified, I really miss Chihuahuas. So I love Ellie, she's my dream puppy. My absolute I dream French puppy. Bulldog. Sophie's dream is a French Bulldog. But I think my heart is with Chihuahuas. Even if I get a Chihuahua, I'm not getting a Chihuahua, but one day my next dog will for sure. Why does she stink? She probably swam in the duck She pond. probably did swim in the duck pond. Basically what I mean is like my next dog, even though I love Ellie, Ellie is my dream. I, even if I get a Chihuahua after Ellie and it's just a little dog that stays in the house and I cuddle it and have it for, and I think that's what I'm missing in Ellie. She's so independent. There's no like scooping her up and going to bed at night and cuddling her and there's no laying on the couch or sitting on the couch and I have a big dog that stays in the house because she can't handle gold. There's no sitting on the couch at night and cuddling her like she does what she does what she wants to do and there that's it. Yeah your dog is the cuddliest one that we have. Yeah. But she's so heavy. <laughs> Not really. She's heavy to me. But anyways let's get these animals out so we can get back up to the barn finish chores and get to schooling.
be a boy. <laughs> it might be a boy. She dragged her. I think she dragged a mate with her. Oh, I think she I've seen ducks boy. mate before. That's what it looks like. It's a little girl bed. <laughs> Wait till we tell Gabby the duck tried to mate with her dog. <laughs> no, I, Lucy's a girl. Guys, I just made a snowball out of grain. Yeah. Tomorrow is Sophie's very first ever awards banquet for the show series she did on Storm. In fact, it's Storm's very first banquet. Obviously, he's not going to get to go. But to prepare, we have been getting all the girls fancy clothes. Gabby's gonna go too. She got a new dress. It's really Christmassy. I am obsessed with it. I love Sophie's dress too. It totally suits her. Today we're gonna try everything on and do everything to get ready except for our hair and our makeup. So not me, them. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys. I bought this stuff off of Amazon. It's this solid nail glue. I saw it on Amazon. I bought both of the girls one. So this is what it looks like. It's this putty show you can you see a little better it's putty and you put it on your nail and Oops. that and then you stick the nail yeah so she's gonna stick it to the nail so anyways um oh so that's what she got that so that's what I got and then I got them this whole set of nails and they're matte colored which I they maybe would like shiny better whoops but these are all the ones that I got they're all different colors so they're already colored there's like a ton of them I love the white ones myself. So after you get it on your nail, you have to cure it. So you have to use like a, one of those little lights or you have to use freezing cold ice water. It's and just normal cold water. Oh, you have to use like really cold water. It's cold. And it hardens I'll, it. I'll just put my fingers in the snow. Anyway, it's supposed to be like the way easiest way. It's called gel nails. Can you put and those back in the package please? Yeah. I asked Gabby if she wanted to do them for the Christmas party instead of going get their nails done because I hate going to get their nails done. Because and this is also a cheaper option. If because you pay so much money and then they rip off like the next day because my kids don't live the kind of lifestyle, well, so Gabby does, that hey. that hey. you can, let's see. Are they, oh, wait. So also you could probably paint these. You might have to put it, keep it, on, like, so do them all and then put them yeah, in the cold water. Do. Let's see. Let's see them. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Let me see your nails. Aren't they cool? I'm keeping them this long. They are really cool. And I bought ones that weren't, like, super long because when you have horses, you can't have super long nails. Well, if you get super long ones, then you can just cut them. Anyway, super cool. So we're going to practice that. I'm going to wrap presents. Did you buy any wrapping paper? Wrapping Thank you. How, what did the doctor say? The physio say. Um, funny thing, I thought four to six weeks for me to be out. She says four to six months. Four to six months? And So you can't go back to work for four to six months? No, she just says that it won't get better until maybe six months. Oh, yay. So, and uh, told her all the problems I'm having and she's like, well, you're doing good compared to other people I've seen, and your just, your just knee is like really stiff, and you have to work at it. <laughs> Still work at it. Who else tells you that? Well, I thought I was going down because last week I could only do 95 degrees, but we got it back to 105, so I don't know what happened. So, who else told you that you just have to work at it, and then we're working at it causes pain sometimes? Yeah. Who else told you Painful. that? Who else told you it? Who, who, who? Could it have been your loving wife? Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way